Hi guys, this is Jessica with YA Fiction Freaks. I have come to you today to do a bookshelf tour. I've been promising you guys a bookshelf tour for a really long time and I haven't done it yet, so I figured I'd go ahead and keep up on that promise even though I just uploaded a review. So please watch them both. I love hearing from you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing this on my Mac because it's the only camera that I have. So it's going to be really shaky and gross, but it's the only way I can do it. Okay, so let's go. Alright guys, like I said, bear with me. This is really rough to do on my MacBook. I'm going to find some way to situate it so it's not so shaky. Here is my Golden Compass series. I read all those a pretty long time ago. Then there's my dictionary, which everyone says that you're supposed to have a dictionary if you're a true reader, so I figured I'd get one. Um, that's the first couple books in the Morganville, Morganville Vampire, Vampire series by Rachel Kane. I haven't read those yet, but I heard they're pretty good. Right here is my little box, or my little, ooh, it'll fall, my little glass thing of popsicle sticks. It has all 21, now 22 popsicles in it. Then I have Hunger Games and Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. Those are obviously really good books. Um... I have The Summoning and the Awakening by Kelly Armstrong. I have Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. This will get better once it's not on the top shelf anymore. I have Once Dead, Twice Shy by Kim Harrison. The City of Ashes and City of Bones. I have yet to buy City of Glass. I've already read it and I hate buying hardbacks. And I have Breaking Dawn, which is without a cover right now. This makes me so sad. And then Eclipse is at my house, so I have New Moon, Twilight. Look at my Twilight book. Like, it is just tore up. Like, this book, I love when books get like this, because you can tell, like, this book has been loved on. And then I have the Twilight graphic novel, which I just bought yesterday. Now, on this shelf, it'll be so much easier. So, okay, so I have... Dead Witch Walking by Kim Harrison. I actually have that signed along with One's Dead Twice Shy, which is up there. I have this book. My dad got me this for Valentine's Day because I really want to be a writer. Like, I want to be a writer more than anything in the whole entire world. And he thought it would be cool if I could back up some of my, um, some of my writing with mythical creatures. And I'm like, oh my god, that was like the best idea ever. So he got me this book. And I'm going to use it when I start writing. I actually already started drawing some of the stuff that I need to draw for it. Um, I got Eyes Like Stars. Um, this is by... Lisa Mentace. I don't know how to say her last name. But it looks like it's about fairies. It's really pretty. And then I have Beautiful Creatures, of course. And this is by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. We're actually going to get to meet them in the Smart Kicks Chick, Smart Chicks Kick Butt Tour. And then I have 13 Reasons Why, which I have read and finished, so I need to do a review on it. It's really good. I liked it. Um, I have Impossible by Nancy Whereland. I haven't read that yet. Um, I have Need by Carrie Jones. I did a review on that the other day. It's pretty good. So I went out and bought Captivate today, as you can see, also by Carrie Jones. And then I have some of the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. I uh, actually been, I had to order all the first like two, three, four, and five online because they're never in stock. And then today I went to Borders and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can finally start just picking them up here. But then I realized I need six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, seven. Then I have the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast. I have read all of those except for Hunted. Then I have the Vampire Academy series, but only two of them. I still have yet to read Frostbite. I have the, the first one in the Evermore series by Allison Noel. I have Project 17 by um, Lori Faria Stollers, and she actually wrote The Deadly Little Secrets I just did a review on. So I, I didn't even mean to do that. It was pretty cool. Um, I also have Willow by... Here you by Julia Hoban. I have yet to read that. There's a lot of books on my shelf that I have yet to read, but I'm still pretty excited about doing it. Um, Elsewhere. I love that cover. By Gabrielle Zevin. 
I have the first one to the Evernight series. I have the first one to Wicked Lovely. And I'll scoot over. Scoot. Sorry, I'm kind of stepping on styrofoam. I still have the boxes over here from where I put this bookshelf together like forever ago. Do, do, do. I have Iron King by Julia Kagawa. And then, of course, I have The Forest of Hands and Teeth. I actually just purchased Dead Toss Waves yesterday, but I let Gina read it first because I figured she'd go crazy for it. Um, I have Wicked, Witch and Curse. I haven't read that yet because I really don't like bind-ups, but... Then I also have The Lightning Thief, which is a movie now, as most of you, I'm sure, know. And then I have Pandora Hearts and Black Butler, which are both mangas, or mangas, or however you want to say it. Okay, now, down to my final shelf. I have Incarceron by, I think it's Catherine Fisher, yeah. Incarceron by Catherine Fisher. Deadly Little Secret, which I just did a review on, so I went out and bought Deadly Little Lies, which is the sequel. I bought Bad Girls Don't Die, and this is probably one of my favorite covers. Jean is reading this right now. That is by Kate Aleander. It's hard to do this one-handed. Okay, I'm not even going to bother. And then I got Valiant, no, Tith, by Holly Black, because I've been hearing a lot about Holly Black's series. So I got that one, that one, Captivate, The Calling, and that's it today. And yesterday I bought the graphic novel for Twilight and, um, oh, I got Bad Girls Don't Die, too, today. So yesterday I bought um, the graphic novel and Dead, Wave, Dead Toss Waves. But So here's my bookshelf. Um, I have my bunny slippers all the way down there. I don't know if you can see them. There they are. My bookshelf obviously has yet to be filled all the way. And this is like, I have more books than this. But they're downstairs on like um, an abandoned bookshelf. So I don't speak to those books because they're not young adult. So they're down there. I still love on them and stuff. When I'm doing laundry, I give them a little love in some hello books kind of thing. But this is my new pretty bookshelf that my sister bought for me. So I didn't. I wanted to put only the books that I have bought since she bought it on there. So I've bought all of these books in two months. I think I might have a problem. Here's also my little thing that I got when I went met when I met Kim Harrison. It's the cover of Early to Death, Early to Rise. So that's pretty cute. But so that's my bookshelf, guys. That's the gist of it right there. Thanks, and happy reading.